what was that actually like, losing your parents and then being brought up by a foster family? To be honest, it's one of the most challenging things ever. My mom was 33, Lord. Like, she had four kids at 33. Like, how does she die at 33? I can only just imagine hours after the explosion what went through her mind, Judy, knowing that her life was never going to be the same and she might not make it, and having four children. I, nobody can talk to me about what was going on in heaven that day. Clearly, the phone lines were not answered. When I got married, I held on to my last name, not because I didn't love my husband, but because I knew my dad was about to become something. That's why the book on becoming was very special. You know, he died on the way to becoming who he was meant to be. At the moment of the divorce, did you think everything was about to crash? Of course, everything had crashed. Hmm. I didn't think everything was about to crash. Everything had crashed. The life I knew had crashed. When he broke out in the blogs, I was sleeping. And Ice Prince called me at 2 a.m. in the morning. I love him to death. Hmm. And he says to me, where are you? I'm like, where am I supposed to be? I'm in bed. Yeah, my then husband was mm. laying right beside me. And Ice is like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, why? He goes, okay, okay, sleep, sleep, sleep. Just know that whatever, the, whatever happens, we got your back, we love you. So what was it? It was like, well, this, it has happened, it has happened. It was lies. It's not true. It's yeah. not true. It's not true. And then I'll confess, I'll confess. And it's true. And that was it? Pretty much. Pretty much so. Did that make it more painful? Of course. I mean... Right after he confessed and told me that happened, he still asked our chef to give him food. And he still ate while I was on the floor crying. He did. I mean, I think people forget that when this happened, you were not the Tokemaki where you are today. So I think when they think of this woman, they'll be like, hey, now she's the... I think it's also because of the strength, as I told you, because yes. I didn't die. People almost find a way to say it must not have been that bad. Because you didn't die. Is it more difficult? I mean, I guess if I truly say to a young person, you know, you have to be disciplined. Maybe it's easy for them to believe that himself looks like he's, he's disciplined. Mm. Like, but then you, you are slain, you are fabulous, you are turning up. I mean, everything is perfect. Is it more difficult for them to believe you when you say it? Because you know, sometimes it's for people to they, they they see they look but they don't see. Yes. So you're radio every month. Anybody anybody who knows mm -hmm. who looks clearly can see that this is yes, an hard incredible work. hard worker mm. over an extended period of time. Thank you. But does the slaying make it difficult for them to see what you're talking I about? I definitely think so. I think yeah. that and that's not because of the slaying. Okay. It's just because people are just used to comparing their right now to somebody's behind the scenes. It's easy for people, back to your question, to judge people's right now yeah. without seeing the, the behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. So I think that's what is hard yeah. for this young generation. To Let me ask another foolish question. Mm. It's a foolish question to me, to Nigerians, is the cocoa, mm -hmm. is the cocoa. Who is funding your lifestyle? 